Today we're going to go over changing the activation switch on a new Ova Simonelli Mythos grinder. So this goes for the same for the new Ova Simonelli Plus. Um, and uh, there's two ways you can change the switch. Uh, one is from the front, which is a little bit harder, and you also run the risk of marring up uh, the paint on the body. Uh, the other way is through the bottom, which is the way we're gonna do it today. And we'll get right to it. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is shut the beans off, which this is already shut off. And go ahead and power off your machine and unplug it. We want to vacuum out all of our loose beans that are inside as this one is empty. Go ahead and remove your tray. And then we are just gonna lay the machine on its side. So there are four Phillips screws inside of each foot, or one Phillips screw, four screws total. You're also gonna to wanna to have a shop vac, because if you have been running your units, there's gonna be plenty of loose coffee grounds inside of here. loose coffee grounds that are sitting on this plate and inside you want to vacuum all of that out. Our activation switch is right here. So we are going to want to push one side of our clip through and I want to push one side of our clip through like so. It takes uh, a bit of force, so what you're doing so what you are doing inside the machine is you're pushing this you're angling that out and you're using a lot of force to get this side to push through out. And just remember your wire positions. So it is the middle and bottom that these wires connect to. They can be reversed. Just do not connect anything to the top. So when connecting your wires, they only connect to the middle and bottom wire. How you know what is the top and bottom, your switch will look like this. This is the top, this is the bottom. So if you turn it around, it's only these two. The wires can be switched around. It doesn't matter which wire is connecting but to you, the top and bottom. But you don't use the top. I mean, to the middle, yeah. To the middle and bottom. The top Wait. is not used. Awesome. So you want to feed, feed your wires in through there and then just push your switch and snap it into place and just make sure that the, act, the switch itself it moves freely. Then you want to reassemble, make sure that when you're putting your plate back on that you have no wires that are going to get pinched. The 
these screws do not have to be super tight. Just snug them up. So some units will have an actual portafilter uh, grasping bracket that's here. Uh, if that's the case, you may want to uh, remove that bracket. And there's two 10 millimeter um, bolts here that you would remove and both this fork bracket and the other bracket will come out at that time. Oh. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and we hope to see you on the next video.